All right, gamers. We're in. It's inscription time. I have turned down the volume. And that's all I've done. I've opened the game exactly once to get to the settings to turn down the volume. Okay. Time to figure out what's on this thing. Time to figure out what's on this thing. It's a recording. Video recording of something. Welcome back. It's inscription. I'm completely blind. I have no idea what I'm doing. Uh, this one, uh, a little thing we do here on the channel called Wheel of Games where viewers get to suggest games. Uh, and somebody... I've never played a deck builder before. Um, truly. New game, continue, options, credits, quit. Okay. Why won't it let me do a new game? It won't let me do a new game. That's weird. That's suspicious. That's weird. That's a little weird. That's a little suspicious. Do any of us know what we're doing? Uh, me in particular, no. The one thing I know about inscription, exclamation inscription in the chat. Something about, uh... I don't like it. I don't like it at all. Something about a cabin in the woods. Another challenger it has been ages. Oh, buddy. Perhaps you have forgotten how this game is played. I have never played it before. Believe in the heart of the cards. Believe in the heart of the cards. No one's ever made that joke before in a deck building game. <laughs> I've never made it before. My first time. Also, hi, Sinsuki. Welcome in. Welcome in. This is Sinsuki's pick. Allow me to remind you. Teach me. Teach me. Play the squirrel card. I have wolf, stoat, and wolf. What if I don't play the squirrel card? I'm going to play a different card. I don't trust this game at all yet. I'm not going to play the fucking squirrel card. That's definitely how I lose. You're lacking sacrifices for that creature? Ah, so this red tier is a sacrifice. So we got to play the squirrel. Now play your stoat. S comes back here. Stoat on top of it. Oh, yeah. An honorable death. Play the stoat. I got to slay my own people. Okay. Ryan's arguing with the tutorial. Classic. Wolves require two sacrifices. You don't have enough. Okay. Ring the bell to end your turn and commence combat. Done. I don't like the sound. People have said that this game isn't scary, and I call bullshit, because I'm already scared. Your stoat stands unopposed. The number on the bottom left is attack power. One. This is HP, right? Oh, God. Stoat dealt me one damage. I added it to the scale. You win if you tip my side all the way down. How many does it take to tip it? Oh, that hand. I don't like that. Oh, I don't like that at all. My turn. Okay. Your stoat stands in the way of my coyote. Uh-oh. And he's got two attack. Fuck. I have one health. I understand that. One damage. Okay. Stoat, stoat's health is two less. If creature's health reaches zero, it dies. It's your turn. You may draw from your deck, or you may draw a squirrel. Ryan, you're scared by literally every noise in every game I've noticed. You gotta relax, buddy. Ryuchi, talk to my anxiety, kid. Tell it to my anxiety. Hi, Psycho. How's it going? Back from camping while it was negative 26 out? Sounds like you had a great time. I'm gonna draw from deck. Sure. River Snapper. How reckless of you? What do you mean? Did I fuck up? Do I need to... Do I need to... How do I make you attack? Play that wolf, you need to sacrifice two different creatures? Well, sure, but can I... Uh-oh. I don't think I can do anything. I can't lay anything. Uh-oh. I'm losing my grip on reality! Oh, because at the end of the last turn, I didn't have... I didn't have... Anyone... Hi, uh, three me. Thanks so much for the follow. I didn't have anything opposing the stoat, so that's why it didn't attack. So I have to ring it. I just want to point out, by the way, all these fuckers in chat being like, "No, no, no! You don't want us to backseat. Trust me, you do not want any help from us." And then get mad when I don't know what the fuck I'm doing in a game I've never played. You are learning. I will pass. Okay, he's gonna pass. That's great. Draw the creatures from the deck. A squirrel's your only choice. Bell commences combat. All right, we're learning. Let's put a squirrel down. 
We're not backseating. We repeated the tutorial. And I appreciated it. What I'm saying is I want it, Mars. I suck. I want it. Oh. These eyes are creeping me out. All right. Scroll down. Maybe I could sacrifice you later. Can I now sacrifice you? How good is the wolf? Three, two. How good is the river snapper? Ooh. Ooh, I don't know. It's got six health, though. Let's do it. Fuck it. Huh? Hey, stop. If you're not the beast, is sacrificed but not removed from your deck. Okay. It's suffering was real, was real, but you will see it again. River snapper. Let's do it. Hi, Jab. How's it going? Ding, ding. Ding, ding. All right. One day, one way down the scale. Okay. He's passing. Why are you passing? You're making me very scared when you do the... When you do the passing. Squirrel's got no health, no attack, one health. You know, you can play more than one card at a time. Is that what I said? Done. Let's put the wolf out there. There we go. You're winning? I'm winning. Eclipso. Another sacrifice? Did I win-win? I've won! Let's go! Hi, Muskie. How are we doing today? They won't all be so easy. Why are your eyes doing that? Stop that. Stop that. Don't do that to me. Stop it. Turn around. Don't look at me. Let me recall your story. Oh, yes. Stop it. Turn around. Don't do that. You're making me dizzy with those eyes. Oh, my God. Why is it so sharp? You were lost deep in the forest. A single path revealed itself. Of course. Why would they give us options? Good, how are you? I mean, I'm terrified, but I'm good. Two denizens of the forest approached you tentatively. The undying cat sacrificing the poor beast does not kill it. Don't stop me now. Frack. Boop incorporated back with more Thanks funds for the, for the stream. $5.67 tip. Thank you very much, Frack. Holy shit. Can we get some hearts in the chat? Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Thank you, man. All right. Or the adder. The caustic adder. Damage from its poison bite is always lethal. Damage from its poison bite is always lethal. Poison. Okay. One, one. Only one may grace your paltry deck. Uh, okay. I mean, it's got poison. It does require sacrificing, unfortunately. I have lots of things that require sacrifices. Wouldn't that be venomous bite? I'm going to pick a squirrel. Uh, uh, a cat. No idea. Ryan? What's up, Strawberry? Another creature joins your caravan. Some of the creatures of the forest seemed willing to follow you. You came across an abandoned sack. You found a squirrel in a bottle. Break in case of emergency. Interesting item choice. I can break a bottle and get a free, a free squirrel. Have a second. Okay. Two of them. Another useful implement. I'll allow you to tip the scales with it. Three is as much as you can carry. These are my three items, okay? We go forward. I bet that's a card battle right there. Don't be afraid to uh, experiment. That's how you underestimate. Under Sorry, that's how you understand the card's different abilities. I love it, Lost. Thank you. You are ambushed while crossing some rough terrain. Interesting. There's landscapes in the, in the card builder, okay? Uh, you sacrificed me while I was sleeping. Undertale much? It was the right play. I get it. Maybe you'll help me? Take your turn. Um, play along for now. What does that mean? Play along for now. You may see my moves ahead of time. You have a wolf cub, which will go here. Cat, do I put you down just to sacrifice you later? The stoat. I'm sorry you died, stoat. Um, between the two of you, uh, never mind. You require a sacrifice. Fuck. Let's put down to squirrel. So you're telling me I can play multiple cards on one hand? It said that earlier. On one turn? Your items may help? No, I get it. I understand. But... I don't know how, if you can attack diagonally. Probably not, right? 
So I need to have an attack here in order to go through this. I have no idea. We're going to figure it out, though. Let's do stoat. Let's just do it. We're going to kill a lot of fucking squirrels today, I can tell. Here we go. Fingers crossed. They attack straight forward. Mind the ambitious wolf uh, cub. It ages swiftly. I think the wolf cub's going to be a wolf. What do you guys think? Uh... These are just free squirrels? Are they all squirrels? I think they're all squirrels. They're all squirrels, which are just things you sacrifice. Okay. I could get free damage over here, I think. Oh, no, 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 no. It's telling me it's turn. It's telling me it's turn. Okay, two, but one health. So, as long as we have something with more health than that, we could do this boy. The problem is it requires sacrifices. I think I could lay down all three of these now, actually. Nope. One. Shit. Okay. I'm going to play squirrel here. And then use it as a sacrifice potentially later. We'll see. We'll see. This is my plan. My current plan is this boy is just for sacrificing next turn. This boy is going to do one more damage, so that'll be very close to breaking. I could get rid of the stoat, but I don't want to because it talked to me, and now I have feelings for it. A stoat is a sort of like a uh, otter, right? Was I not clear? No, you were. You were very clear. I just don't know how to get around a boulder. You can play a squirrel and also sacrifice it in the same turn. The airborne bat flies over creatures to attack directly. Oh, fuck. Okay. He's got two health. He's got one health. So this. I think we put River Snapper here, and then all of a sudden we got attacks. A stoat is a weasel. This is good information. Isn't the cat's ability that it doesn't go away when sacrificed? Is that true? Did I miss that already? Chat, can you confirm if the cat does not go away when uh, sacrificed? If so, I will put a squirrel there. Oh, this is a fake arena tip. Is it a real? The cat does not die when sacrificed. I'm going to use a squirrel. Squirrel? And then river snapper. Fuck you, squirrel. Fuck you, squirrel. Put it there. You'll kill that. You'll kill that. The wolf I'm still scared of. We don't know enough about the wolf. But currently it is trapped. But this should help us with the... Uh... Should I also have this here? No. We'll just go for it. I don't know. We're still learning. Okay. So now you broke the thing. That's fine. You have two hearts, though. You have two hearts, though. I probably have, like, a wolf in here. I could get a free squirrel. I could tip the... A mortal cat. A mortal cat. Um, I could just put a squirrel down and let it get attacked. That'd be fun, right? I think I got lots of wolves in here. Or, uh, 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 uh... Were they wolves or what were they? They were wolves. Hmm. It's just, it's just you, you, you go there. I probably should put the cat there, shouldn't I? And then we go all in. I have no cards left. I have no cards left. Fingers crossed. You do lots of damage that tilts the things. You kill the cat. The cat. Squirrel. Squirrel goes there. I hit the button. You lose. I win. You lose, I win. You lose, I win. You lose, I win. How have you not lost yet? Has it not touched the bottom yet? That looks like awfully close to the bottom. Inside of you, there were two wolves. <laughs> Which one grew? The one that you fed. Hey, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. You prevailed and trekked onwards past the now blooded terrain. Okay. Now blooded terrain. Great. Love that for us. And you didn't use any items. Itemless percent. It's true. I think they were trying to teach me how the uh, 
tilting this scale thing works. The Meek Sparrow, an inexpensive, if feeble, flying creature. It's one sacrifice, but it does fly, which means it attacks directly, meaning if we have cover, no? Maybe? It might attack over cover. It might just attack over creatures. It only has two hearts, though. Okay. Sparrow. Wolf cub grows into a wolf after a single turn. We protect it? Having a wolf cub seems very cracked. Having a wolf cub seems very cracked. If you can play it well, which, let's be honest. You stumbled into some strange stones in the mist. Okay, great. Love that. Love that so much. Love a st I love a good old strange stone. You are compelled to choose a worthy sacrifice, one that will be lost forever. I discard a, a thingy. Cat or wolf cub? I feel so bad. Because Strawberry literally just cheered me on for getting the cat. But... Wait, 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 wait. Hit this button. <laughs> Am I strengthening one of my cards by sacrificing the other one? It says pick me. Dude, stoat. I'm going to be honest with you. You're my only friend in this entire world. I'm picking you. Power up. What an honor. Did I power it up? A ghastly spectacle. The soul of the cat now lives in the stoat. I don't think its stats changed. It just makes something immortal. It's a good choice. Okay. I still don't exactly understand immortal. As opposed to very immortal. Oh, that's fucking fucked. I don't like that. Behold my totem. It inscribes my canine cards with the airborne sigil, meaning they attack directly. Okay. Okay. We have not played a straight goddamn round of this video game yet. Everything has a million goddamn twists and turns to it. Okay. Coyote can attack directly once it goes. Bat will also attack directly once it goes. So I'm going to be taking four total damage. We got to kill you. And bat attacks directly. So I think we actually want to put... This is potentially... Oh, I can't. I think we actually want to put wolf cub here. Because it won't get attacked... <laughs> I mean, I guess I could put it either place. And, uh... Have you forgotten the items I give you, Tisk Tisk? I have not forgotten them. I'm just trying not to use them unless I get in, backed into a corner, you know? It means the dogs can fly. Exactly. Exactly. Uh, I'm not sure if you can... It does look like you can right-click. For sure. That's good. That's one of the things we knew already. We knew that one already. We knew that sigil already. Um, because of the last turn. What's this book over here? Oh, there's a book. Mighty Leap. A card bearing this sigil will block an opposing creature. Oh. Do I have any bearing that sigil? No. I have one that is a turn thingy. I just pulled out my own tooth. My brain hurts. My brain hurts just thinking about it. Okay. A well-earned point. I didn't think you would really do it. I didn't plan on doing it. I thought I was actually clicking on it to read it. Okay. Well, that's fun. Uh, I think I gotta hit the button. It's okay. You got plenty of teeth. I got 31 more teeth. Totem has granted my coyote the power of flight. For sure, it does two damage. That's fine. So does that one. I'm in trouble. But here's the thing. The wolf is now grown. Give me the stoat. Give me the stoat! He's completely insane. You see that, right? No no care for the rules? Pathetic, really? Enough. Enough. Only keeps me around to watch me suffer. Who, me or him? Me or him? Me or him? I'm about to make you suffer, too. <gasps> Fuck! I don't have a sacrifice card. Shit. It's fine. I hope I hope these things uh, I hope these things come back at the end of the round. Back on the board. Back on the board. Uh, I love this stoat so much. That should kill them both, and then I should have free attacks after this. Okay, so they have a wolf cub, which will have the thingy. Um, 
So I want to put something down there to give it one damage this turn. And then I think we're good. I didn't expect that with the teeth. Me neither. Me neither, Tracy. Immortal means you can sacrifice it. It will stay on the board. Okay, so it's a free it's a free upgrade. It's a free upgrade. So now I need one thing to sacrifice. And I can lay down a wolf. So let's just make sure we got it figured out right. I can now sacrifice both of those. He'll stay on the board, and then I lay the wolf here. And then this guy is fucked. Get fucked, devil. Get absolutely wrecked, homie. Get out of here. I don't know why I became a German. Impressive you may yet survive this ordeal. Knock on wood. Okay. Oh, two roads diverged in the wood. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> Let's go. Thank you, guys. Thank you, guys. All right. Uh, I think these are actually picked between cards. Yeah. I thought they were card battles. Believe in the heart of the cards. The conniving raven ablights upon the skies. It attacks directly. Two sacrifice. Two damage. Three health. Okay. Porcupine. Ornery porcupine. Sharp quills await those who dare attack it. So... Watching you play this makes me want to get it. You should get it, Eclipso. Uh, get it, and then we can DM about it. I can tell already. You ever have one of those experiences? I can tell already this game's incredible. I can tell already I'm going to be playing more of this game. <laughs> Dude, sometimes it's just it's just a feeling right away. A feeling right away. All right. Uh, it's a good feeling. The flighty elk. The flighty elk. It moves after attacking. Does that mean I can move sideways? These are rhetorical questions for now. Porcupine. <gasps> I thought I was reading. Ah, oh, shit. Okay, I have a good defense. Fuck. Sacrifice or... Is what that looks like. I thought I was reading. Oops. Let's go. Ryan learned he likes Dark Souls. Now he... Now he's into deck building games. My world is expanding. My world is expanding. Since he loves it, he's told me a bit, and it seems really cool. Seems awesome. Seems very good. Uh, so fire, or I think that is choose a sacrifice. I don't know that I have any squirrels to sacrifice currently. I think we'll do this. I don't know what this means. Fire. It's a warm fire. I would like to chill by the fire. Oh, no. You came across a small group of survivors. Faces shrunken from starvation. They huddled around a campfire. The campfire says plus one something. They looked upon your group of creatures and beckoned. Come warm one of your creatures by the fire, one said. Warm it by the fire that will enhance its power, said another. You noticed one of the survivors wiping drool from their mouth. Here's the thing. There's a button there. There's a, there's a sigil there that I don't know. Adrian says, gotta help head off with this game. Slabs, have fun. See ya, Adrian. Thanks for being here today. Uh, <clears throat> okay. So, we have limited information, but I could choose to sacrifice, quote unquote, an animal to help these starving people. This really comes down to, I think, at this very early stage, a question of what I think this game's sincerity level is and what it thinks that I think its sincerity level is. So, do I think honestly this is going to be helpful. I think honestly that this is going to be helpful. I don't know what that stands for. It looks like teeth a little bit. I think it'll add one to the attack. I'm gonna try it on a regular wolf and see what happens. Fire warmed the poor wolf, enhancing its power. Actually helpful. It is, it is an attack, okay. One of the survivors reached towards it. Another gnashed their teeth. Without a word, you pulled the wolf away from the fire and left. Let's go. Let's go! Uh, okay. Okay. Whew. Truly a cult? That was truly a cult moment right there. Just cult things. Hashtag just cult things. Just cult things. What did I walk into? Hi, Wavy. Welcome. It's my first ever deck builder game. There's a way out for both of us. It's somewhere this foul in this foul cabin. Be silent or I will tear you to shreds. 
Ellipses. Ellipses is my favorite line of dialogue in any of the games. That makes me think that I want to, uh, I want to hit all of the WASD buttons. <gasps> I hit space! Ah, shit! I just lost. Don't hit the space button, it turns out. The space button it rings the bell. Fuck. Using this as a learning opportunity may be the only way to mitigate my disappointment. Get up. Get up from the table. Fetch the candlestick from atop the barrel beside the door. What the fuck is happening here? Candlestick there. Pro start. Oh my god. Truly a pro start, by the way. It turns out I know what the space button does. This is fucking terrifying. <gasps> that was a hand! What was that? There's a little survivors. There's a painting. There's a drink. You can't use that right now. We should just grab the candlestick, but also like bring it here. I hear you. I hear you, but I don't want to. We're going to explore just a little bit if we can. This looks like a safe. 6969. This is literally uh, five nights at Freddy's. Oh, Jesus. The tab did something. Start screen options after deck. Uh, alter deck. I think I should just hit escape real quick i think we'll be five we'll be fine yeah, yeah okay don't hit tab uh there's a key i need a key for something okay there's a squirrel with a knife and a pulley grab the knife lights off make it super scoop uh sp sp scoopy Big news, we're up to 30 deaths on Sekiro, by the way. Okay, I can't do anything with it. Oh! I don't like the eyes. There's a wolf in a cage. There's a globe that I can spin. <gasps> I put out the candle. I did put out a candle. Are you dark still? What is this? What are you- Oh, that's a- That's your hand. Oh, that's your hand. Saying, put it down on the table. Oh, I don't like your hand, though. Uh, we haven't messed with the cuckoo clock yet. There's three hands on the cuckoo clock. Why are there three hands on the cuckoo clock? Midnight? We have to make it midnight, right? Uh... Ah! Does it fit? Is it a ring? I got a ring. I have no idea what I've done. Not that button. Shit. A hammer? And a thingy. Ryan speedrunning? I'm speedrunning over here. Let's go back to the table. Let's go back to the table. Now sit back down. Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. Ryan, you should press the button to end your turn. That'll work for sure. Definitely. Just hit the, the space button. Space bar. Let me explain something to you. What's up? <laughs> that was my life. I was one of the two mistakes you can make here. Fuck me. If you make another, I must sacrifice you. Do it. Yeet me into the void. Now, where were we? Oh, am I supposed to have a survival instinct in this game? My bad. Um, fire, I think, is what we want to avoid. I think we want to do this one. Let's go left. I love those maps. They're so cool. Woo. You got to go through a long journey and throw the ring into a volcano. I'm reading a book about that right now, Lost. I'm not sure y'all have ever heard of it before. Uh, the reviled skunk, its stench reduces the strength of the enemy. Reduces the strength of the enemy. That seems very tactical. A cat that is immortal. Or an adder, which is poison. Woo! I like having a cat. It's basically a free upgrade. The problem is this boy doesn't have any... If I take the cat, I could probably still... I could probably still... Uh, I could probably upgrade something. Or uh, uh, sacrifice something eventually. 
I'm gonna take a skunk. We're gonna learn. I'm gonna take a skunk. I don't know what it's gonna do. We're gonna learn though. Um. You gotta go through. Uh, nope, I already read that. I was surprised that Ryan said, "Why does it have three hands?" Like almost all clocks I see have the second hand. It didn't look like a second hand though. It looked like a second minute hand. Like to me, it looked like the exact same as the minute hand. Uh, a gust from this may lift your creatures into the air if only for a turn. Is this a new item? It's a fan. And it allows everybody to be airborne for a moot for a day for a turn. A rock may get you out of a hard place. And a thingy. I get to choose one. I want a boulder. I'm not going to pull out my... Honestly, I'm going to pull out my own teeth. I'm going to pull out my own teeth. It was actually kind of fun. It was really fun last time. I'm going to pick a, a boulder. Pick a boulder. Eclipse says, yeah, I bought it. <laughs> that might be the quickest speed run of how long it's taken us to stream a game before a person bought it. Feeling overburdened enough with the full three items. You carry on. Can I get a bigger backpack? Oh, that looks good. That looks very nice. That looks very... You know what it looks like? Anybody ever watch the old uh, Pooh cartoon movie? Pooh cartoon movie? Where there's like a skull cave? It's that. Oh. Trees seem to close in around you as a chill mist descended. Does this mean you have two lives? Are you like a Dark Souls boss right now? Or a Sekiro boss, you have two lives? In the distance, you could hear the clicking of clinking of metal on stone. A hobbled figure stood in your path. Hee-haw! Twas the prospector! That's his voice. Can't you tell? Hee-haw! Hi, Tub. Are you winning, son? Uh, I think I'm actively dying. Doesn't that voice just make you... Hee-haw! All right, we got a boulder. And he's got what? He's got a coyote with two and one. A pack mule, zero and five. But he, that means he can move after his turn, I think. If I click on it, what will this happen? If I click on it, will it tell me more about the game? Or about the card? Maybe it's Mickey Mouse as a prospector. It's Mickey Mouse. Like, it has an open book beside it, right? So click on it at right-click. Right-click on it. Right-click on it. Okay. At the end of the owner's turn, a card bearing the sigil will move in the direction inscribed in the sigil. So it will move one that direction. What if it can't? Because of a coyote. Oops. Okay. Um. Okay. So I have wolf cub. Which I think we could put right here, right away, with a squirrel. And then I have wolves, which are going to take me a couple turns. Has Ryan seen the dude yet? Uh, the prospector? Yeehaw! I have seen him. That guy? Oh, well, let me get any closer. Uh, okay. I think I will do that. But should I attack the coyote? I'm afraid he will die if I put him there. Here. So I think I must do wolf cub here. And ring bell. One free. Uh, you will attack for two. That's fine. You will attack. Oh, you've got five health. Fuck, I did forget about that. Okay, so free squirrel will give me... This will help for a second. I want, like, the stoat. I want the stoat. I got the porcupine. It has defense, though. We're going to put it down. <gasps> it requires a... I got to use the squirrel. Fuck. It requires a sacrifice. Shit. Uh... Porcupine here. Let's try it. We're going to learn what the porcupine does now. It has one attack, but also I think it will take a point away if he attacks. I think he... Okay. Let's figure this out. 
No worries, Mars. No worries. I think... Okay, so I think what will happen here is this. At my turn will commence. This guy will have two health. This guy will get hit down. Oh, he should die. He should die, I think, actually. Because I'll attack with one and he has one health. Two health. This guy moves forward. That's fine. This guy moved to the left, which means... Hold up. Let me look. Coyote will go forward. That's not going to be a problem. He'll die. You'll only attack one, and then you'll move left, which actually sucks. So I need a squirrel to sit right here, I think, actually. Oh, the problem is I don't have any... Fuck. I don't know what cards are in my deck. <laughs> I need something that I can lay down this turn. I guess this guy doesn't do any damage. So fuck it, let's grab a squirrel. And just see what happens there. You do no damage, so even if you move to the left... To the right, sorry. Coyote killed my... Fuck. Wait, shit. How? I didn't know how much health it had. Uh-oh. 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 Nobody's attacking my porcupine. Why is nobody attacking my porcupine? Uh... Stoat, cat, wolf, wolf, pup. Porcupine. So, I need the stoat. I really need the stoat. See what's in your deck? Alter deck, it says. I don't know what that means, though. And it's also gray. I don't know that I want to hit it for now. I probably could. He's pretty weak, though. Um, We have a problem. Do I want a squirrel? If I put a squirrel down, then I can put a wolf here, which will definitely kill, and also probably cause damage. The mule won't do any damage to me. I think we gotta do that. I think I put a squirrel down here. And then I sacrifice both squirrels for a wolf. Put it here. That will kill. It should. It'll kill. Let's try it. Porcupine did a damage. You killed that. Oh my god, the sigil changed, and I didn't think about it. That's totally fine. The wolf will now move forward, though, so I should have something there. I think I can grab the stoat here. You can lay down multiple squirrels and sacrifice them in one turn, by the way. Unless you're trying to block some of the squirrels. Sorry for the backseat. Uh, did I have something ready to... He's doing the prospector again. Easy boss, the mule's key. The mule is key. The mule is key. Just kill the mule? You're gonna be defense against something. I can sac- Oh shit, I still need a- I'm gonna use the boulder. I think we have this in the, uh... Okay. Do I have this in the- do I have this in my- I have this in the bag, right? This is gonna do enough damage that I think we win anyways. I think it doesn't matter. I'm not gonna use the item. I think we actually win. Okay, the mule is definitely key. Holy shit. Dang damn it, my mule! Let's go. That's one of your lives. I still have to get a second one. I hope you didn't think it would be that easy. Okay, shit. All right, cool. Heart of the cards, by the way. Heart of the cards, baby. There's gold in them cards. Is it my turn? No. You're just dialoguing. Okay. You fucking fucker. Gold. I've struck gold. I have nothing now. Bloodhound. With a sigil that we don't know. If we right-click on it, Guardian. When an opposing creature is placed opposite to an empty space, a card bearing this sigil will move to that empty space. So I can move him if I play something. What are you? Gold nugget. 
Uh, I have lots of stuff. Okay, hold up. Hold up, hold up. I got an immortal cat. Poison adder. Immortal stoat as well. Or sacrificable stoat. I could lay both of these and get a wolf out of it. Um, I'd get a stoat and a wolf. So I think we definitely want to do that. Don't get ahead of yourself. You need to draw a card first. Oh, you're right. You're right. You're right. Uh, I just want a lot of these, I think. Lay the squirrel down. Lay the squirrel down. Uh, I probably should have done the other thing. Shit. Oh, well. Lay that there. So that should kill it. Can I sacrifice the gold nuggets? I didn't even look. No, you cannot. Shit. Okay. Well, in that case, I think I'm done. All right. We're learning. Slowly but surely, we're learning. Bloodhound moves forward. And then it kills my thing. Okay, great. So it's just a boulder. I love it, Lost. I love it. I love it. Okay. Uh, if we get one squirrel, we can sacrifice for a stoat. Or a porcupine. I think having a porcupine there would honestly be great. Porcupine will do one damage and then also... Sorry, this way. You will die, but you will... Get him very weak. Okay. Mm, what is in this book over here? Mighty Leap. Oh, we already did that. Okay. Well, shit. Uh, let's just get a squirrel. Nope. Squirrel lay down and make it into a porcupine. Let's try that. I think the porcupine is going to die. I wonder if I should have put it here. Oh, well. That tilts, tilts the odds. Tilts the odds for sure. A thorny rebuke. That's beautiful. He's very weak. Oh, also, you didn't die. No, you did die. Shit. <laughs> All right, cool. The stoat will kill it. So let's put the stoat down. I love the stoat. The stoat and I are friends. Stoat, you go there. Uh, are you sure? I didn't see what you said. I'll be honest with you. Let's do it. Duck, duck, goose. Let's do duck, duck, goose. Second... Victory, let's go! Uh, would squirrel stoat, squirrel cat, wolf adder have worked, by the way? Squirrel stoat, squirrel to cat, wolf. I don't know about adder. Stoat and cat switched, okay. Let me to light your candles once more. I won't be killing you quite yet. Give me that second life back. Let's go! Boss fight done! You're the first in a while to overcome a boss. As a reward, you are granted an opportunity to select a rare card. Choose carefully. Okay. A Gek. The uninspiring Gek. A thousand Geks, by the way. Just a, a one deck full of 1,000 of these. Choose Exodia. I'm on it. Perhaps you can find a use for it. Okay. Strange Larva. A largely unimpressive specimen, but it takes one turn, and then I bet it becomes something incredible. I bet. And then Yure Yuli. This level of brutish strength needs no explanation. Seven and seven. Fuck. Pick blue eyes. A Gek deck? Oh, dude, we gotta do a Gek deck. Does Gek require... Uh... It doesn't require anything. So in a way, it's a better squirrel, right? It's got an attack. This is the least inspired choice of all time, but I'm going to choose the Gek. Something about the Gek speaks to me. Hi, Glue Bottle. How's it going? Just a heads up. We're doing a... Uh, we're avoiding We're avoiding a lot of backseating. You know, we're avoiding a ton of backseating. Uh, I noticed this is your first time here. We're avoiding a ton of backseating. Let me figure it out a little bit. Um, if I ask for help, uh, then definitely feel free to hop in. With the sound of the prospector's pickaxe. Hee-ha! Still ringing in your ears. You carry onward. Okay. There is far more story to this game than I thought there would be. Uh, I fully expected to be learning the rules of a card game, and that was it. 
I guess I did not know a thing about deck builders. The rank smell of rot and mold permeated the humid air. Every step forward was answered by some nearby slip or slither. It's like it's like a, a text-based adventure as much as it is anything else. It's like a D&D &D campaign. And then every step... Uh, I already read that. Oops. You tread cautiously into the wetlands. Okay. Uh, bullfrog. Watchful bullfrog. It leaps in the way of attacking flyers. That's great. That could be really useful. Elk fawn. Nascent fawn. Nascent fawn. It quickly grows into an elk. Interesting. I like those types of cards. Inviable beehive. When it is attacked, you will draw a bee. I don't have a bee. Does that... Will it give me one anyways? I think having a defense could be really good. That's to make him let him make the mistakes. It makes the game a better experience. My bad. Sorry. You're good, Gulu Bottle. You're good. I just wanted to make sure you knew uh, what we were up to over here. Uh, I have two items already. I could get another one here, I think. Or I could go to this place. Hmm. I've not heard of stories in Told Ricci. I've not. So this is uh, the same thing. Okay, so I pick a fuck. Let's see if I understand this correctly. I pick a card and it makes them, I pick a card to sacrifice and I pick a card to strengthen. And it makes it so if they die, I still get to keep them. Okay, so actual question for chat. I'm getting a couple mechanics confused here. If I lay a card down on a game and it gets killed, is it out of my deck forever? Sounds good, Mars. You got this. Bye. I think it adds the ability. I'm not completely sure. No, I don't think so. It's not gone forever. Okay. So then what this allows me to do is it allows me to make a card sacrificable like our stoat, where if I lay it, I can sacrifice it, which is just a free upgrade and that's it. Hi Anon, how's it going? Uh, killed in a match or on this stone. In a match, do they die forever? The sacrificed creature's sigil is transferred onto the other creature. Okay, shit. So I could make my wolf cub this but i don't think we want to right i could make my porcupine oh no okay uh i'd say experiment for sure in a match no okay that's very helpful thank you sinsuki thank you thank you okay so then in that case we might fuck ourselves here with wolf cub but i want to strengthen wolf cub which i believe is already very strong i'm going to attempt to give this to wolf cub uh which i think is probably a mistake we sacrifice you and then for you oh it gives me a different one okay so i could get a wolf that is uh also prickly oh interesting i'm gonna do that to river snapper actually incredible Incredible. Incredible. Done. Fuck you, porcupine. I'm sorry. Our river snapper is now a god. Let's go. Anon says this looks amazingly complicated. I love it already. It's always a question of like... Oh, man. I love the beginning stages of a game like this because you got to learn like 16 things at once and you can't decide what's most important. What are you? Oh, the Gek has a weird edge around it. Weird. Uh, Bullfrog. So that will defend against a, a flying attack. And it has one attack. So, our Gek is a free uh, attack against the other team. And also, we can eventually sacrifice it if we want. A Squirrel is the same, but it has no attack. So, ah, shit. So I have to... So, this guy has how much attack? Two? 
All right, very easy. So all we do here is we lay squirrel. We put river snapper here. Uh, we can sacrifice. We put it there. This guy's taken care of. Done. Done. <clears throat> Done. Uh, he gets hit hard for one, and next turn he will die. There's a river adder behind it. Poison seems scary, but honestly, if there was somebody that we wanted to take the poison, it would probably be river snapper. Uh, let's take another card. We got a skunk. Shit. I can't do anything. That's fine. I probably could have used a squirrel, but... What do you have up here? Another adder? It's not good. Okay. Um... Oh, it's a spider! Ah! Oh! Uh, okay. So, I think we might put our boulder here eventually. We'll see. That guy's dead. That's great. I got hit for one. Did I get hit with poison or did he... <gasps> it killed it! Wait. Fuck. I think it one taps anything it hits. Let's figure it out. Let's throw the squirrel there and then sacrifice for a skunk. Let's figure out what a skunk does. I still don't know. It now has zero attack. So it's gotten rid of its own attack. I also have zero attack. That seems bad. Okay, well. Um, touch of death. When a card bearing the sigil damages another creature, that creature perishes. I could have learned that by clicking, but I did not click. And so I did not know that that's what would happen. Damn it. Okay. Uh, fuck. And I just used my turn, so... We might put a rattler, uh, our boulder right here. I think we might be in trouble. <laughs> is what I'm, what I'm attempting to say. I'm gonna put boulder here. Uh, okay, let's go. You attack, that's fine, and nothing happens. You guys won't attack each other, which is probably a little bit dumb, but I can at least sacrifice. What does this thing do? The creature opposing a card bearing the sigil loses one power. Oh, okay, okay, okay. We figured it out. This guy only has one, has zero because of my skunk which is great because otherwise my skunk would immediately die this is just a amount of time thing and I can't sacrifice the boulder so it's really just delaying things uh, it's going to kill whatever the adder is going to kill whatever it attacks shit so I want to do this differently Hi, Yikity, how's it going? Hello, hello. Uh, also, Anon says, did you guys have good holidays? I had a fantastic holiday, Anon. I had a fantastic holiday. Ryuji says, pretty dull for me. I spent a lot of it watching Ryan and Meg play Seven Days to Die. That was entertaining. Uh, oh, its hand just came out. Shit. So, Rattler's going to break this in one more turn. I need to be doing damage. This is a stalemate on the left. The problem is, if I put my fuck, my, any, anything here... I will start taking damage. I will take damage. But it's only one. So honestly, maybe the right call is to put Squirrel up here. And then sacrifice both for this. The problem is I have no idea what's coming next. I think I have to wait. Okay, I'm in trouble. I'm in trouble. Oh, buddy. Are squirrels infinite? I don't know, but I just drew the wrong fucking thing. Fuck me. Uh, I am in trouble. Okay, I can kill the rattler with one attack here, which I should do, but it gets rid of the adder, so I'll take like three damage. I'm going to have to pull my own tooth. Yikes. Oh. Uh, That hurt. I hurt a lot. I don't like thinking about it. We throw you down. Which one to use this, the, the strong one? You are going down. I'm sacrificing both of you. Unfortunately, that means you're going to be... I should kill the Rattler, which should be an easy attack. And then I have to start saving up for other things. All right. I take three damage. That hurts. Yikes. Uh, Tracy got a new bass guitar. Uh, our monkey got a quest too because of a giveaway. What the heck? Starberry found out the library staying closed for the month. Rest in pieces. Oh, no. COVID. Anon, how are you doing today, by the way? I think uh, I said hello to you, but I think you were... Uh, I think you were... 
Do we just sacrifice a squirrel here? If we do, it doesn't help us at all. He doesn't have any new cards down, though. So it does... It might actually be a bit official to do this. I do four damage. He does two, right? He does total two. What, what does the score look like? What's the score look like? Not great. Um, I'm losing my grip on reality. Oh, but it didn't kill it. I'm dumb. Shit. Ah, daddy, why do you have thank you so much for the follow? Fuck. I gotta take. I gotta take a guess here. Shit. I'm fucked. I'm dead. I think I died. Uh oh. Unless that kills it, which it does not. Nope. Our wolf's almost dead too. Uh, I have to take a squirrel here. At which point I could put up a bullfrog to kill one of them. I'm not going to do any damage. I think I'm actually dead. Okay, so that's going to kill the adder. We're going to kill the bullfrog, but they'll still do two damage to me. So long as that isn't enough to kill me, then I may still have a chance. Okay, I still have a chance. If I put up a squirrel here and then change to the two of these to a wolf, then that kills that and we still have a chance. Or I could put it here and kill you. I think I have to pick squirrel and then does it matter which one I do? I should kill the adder. Yeah? Hi, Daddy. How are we doing? Uh, finally, I follow you on Twitch, too. Are you from YouTube? Welcome in. Oh, my God. We're learning a brand new game today, and I'm struggling a little bit, but we're having a ton of fun. Uh, okay. Let's draw here. I got the stoat, which is great, but I don't honestly need it right now. I can't lay you because uh, you require a sacrifice. So that should win us, right? Oh, dang, how the turntables turn tables. Let's go. Let's go. How brutal of you. You're right. You're goddamn right. To come from behind. 